The materials you'll need today will be your Model Magic Pack from your art kit, a pair of scissors, and two Ziploc bags. The first thing we're going to do is open up the Model Magic Pack. You can just pull it apart to open it, or you can use the scissors and cut it open. Just make sure you're keeping the wrapper because we are going to wrap up the other half of the clay in just a minute. Now you're going to take your scissors and cut the clay in half. Put the other half of the clay back in the wrapper and make sure you're pressing out all of the air and that you're folding it over. And then you can put it in one of the Ziploc bags. Make sure all the air is pressed out and that you're closing the top so that it doesn't dry out for next week. And you can go ahead and put that aside. Now we're going to cut your clay in half. You're going to roll it into a sphere or a ball, and you can use the table and roll it in a big circle, or you can use your hands. I like to use a little bit of both sometimes to get a nice shaped sphere or a ball. Now we're going to use the base of our palm and we're going to roll it into a cylinder. So you're going to roll it away from you, towards your belly button, then away from you, then towards your belly button. You're going to keep doing it until it forms into a short cylinder, just like that. And this is the form that we'll need before we start rolling a coil. And to roll a coil, you're going to start in the middle with your hands straight and then roll away from you, then towards your belly button, kind of like in a zigzag pattern. And you're slowly moving your hands and spreading out the clay as you're doing it. And what we're trying to do is make our coil as even as possible. That means it's not really bumpy on one side, it's about the same all the way around. And if it gets too long and too hard to manage, the longer it gets, you can always cut it and work with a smaller size. After you have rolled a coil, you're now going to roll it into a large spiral. So you're gonna start at one end and keep turning it until it looks kind of like a snail shell or a spiral. And you're going to keep turning it until it's about the size that you want for the base of your coil pot. So this is going to be for the bottom of your coil pot. That's the base. After you have cut the coil to the size that you want it to be, use your fingers and gently smooth the ends together so it forms one flat circle. So now you've made the base or the bottom of your coil pot. Go ahead and set it aside. And now we're going to roll our second piece of clay. Remember, we're going to start by rolling it into a ball. And then we're going to use the base of our palm and roll it into a short cylinder. And then use our two hands to roll the coil. So we're starting in the middle, gently rolling it, keeping it all the same size. And as we're rolling it, we're spreading our hands apart and spreading the clay as we're doing that. After we've rolled another coil, we're going to add it to the base of our coil pot to make the foundation. So I'm going to cut it in half because it's a little bit long and I don't want to accidentally break the coil. So I'm just going to place it on top of my base and carefully trace around following the edges of the base to form the foundation. So this is going to form the walls or the foundation of your coil pot. And you'll start to see it's going to start building up and get taller as we keep going. So now I've added one coil. I'm going to add another coil and that one seems too short. So I'm gonna use the other piece and Place it right on top, making sure it matches. And then I'm going to cut it when I get close to the end. Push them together and gently smooth it so you don't see 
the seam and you'll see now I have two coils on top of my base. And now we have the foundation, which it's going to make our coil pot stronger. Now we get to add different coil designs and continue building up with our coil pot. Now I'm going to roll my coil a little bit thinner so that I can make a bigger coil pot. You want to be careful because we don't have very much clay. Um, that if you roll the coils too big and too thick, you're only going to be able to use a little bit of clay and your coil pot might be shorter and smaller. So if you want to make sure that you get a nice big coil pot, make sure you're rolling your coils thinner. So almost like a string, like kind of like a thick noodle. So I am rolling small spirals and I've cut them into separate pieces. I'm going to be using small spirals to add a pattern to my coil pot. But most importantly, it's also going to add the wall to the coil pot as I make the coil pot taller and bigger. Now that you have added your first pattern for your coil pot, take your finger and gently press in all of the designs to make sure they're stuck to the clay. You can also take this time to reshape your coil pot if it started to get a little misshapen or crooked. Now we're going to take our second Ziploc bag and we're going to carefully place the coil pot inside the bag. This is going to keep it soft until next week when we start working on it again. Make sure you're pressing out all of the air and that you're closing the top so no air is going to get in. If it is open, it will start to dry up and next week it will be too dry to continue working on. So make sure all of the air is out and then place it someplace safe for next week.